Okay, we are back again with Rising World. Um, I've had a couple of issues with the server for the last two or three weeks. Um, I've had the server since March, but uh, just in the last two or three weeks, um, I've been having problems where the server would just throw everyone off and I would have to actually go through and restart the server before anyone else can get back on again. Um, not too sure what's causing the problem, um, but what I've decided to do is to set up a new server with someone else. And so far I don't seem to be having any, the same issues, so not too sure what's going on with that. Um, so what I'm doing on the second server, it's actually in development mode at the moment. What I'm doing is to create a, um, a spawn area, so when people... Um, log onto the server for the first time, they will end up in this area. Um, got a little house here. Um, got to be adding uh, a bunch of stuff to it. Um, but uh, yeah, it's still a work in progress. Um, also, when you die, um, if you haven't set up a shelter, you would go back to the spawn point, which would be this area here. So um, rather than having a spawn location somewhere out in the African bush, um, I'm setting up this area which is actually protected by a glass wall. So what I'm going to quickly do is to do some work on the glass. So what I'm going to do is to set, get the, the glass panels that I've been using and press enter to turn on modular snapping. And what I do is, you'll, you'll see the, when you put the cursor on the existing glass, the green there, it puts the new pane down there. You don't want that there. If I put it up there, you'll see it adds to the top. But what I want to do is to add to the side. So I'm going to be stretching it all the way across here. So to do that, what I do is to, to put the mouse on the middle blue ball. As soon as you do that, as soon as you've got that right mouse button and you put it down. Nice and easy. So what I do is to just make sure that that um, doesn't come up with any gaps. That looks good. I'm going to carry on to the next one. So we do the middle one. That looks good. So by doing this, you can actually set up an area quite quickly. Now, by doing this, it will actually prevent wild animals from getting in here. Um, the last thing you want is to spawn into the spawn area and get trampled by an elephant or eaten by a lion or whatever. So this is why I'm putting the, the glass all the way around. And I'm still not too sure what happens with the bandits. I don't think the bandits will be coming to this area uh, because this area has been built. Uh, my understanding, I believe, is that they keep themselves when you develop an area. I've been doing this for about four days on the server and I haven't seen any bandits in this area at all. Now just uh, with what I'm doing with building, if I was on the original server that I've had been running since March, by now I would have had a message from the server saying that I've been disconnected from the server and um, if I try to log back on again it will just say 55% and won't let me on or anyone else on until I actually do a physical restart of the server so that was a bit crazy um, okay so what I'm looking at here Bit of a gap here. That's gonna take a little bit of work here. You can just see just um 
to to the left um, and right of that green ball is a little faint line. Got to kind of fix it up. I mean, it's it's not really noticeable. Um, like from here, I just see it. So I will probably fix that offline rather than have you guys watch what I'm doing. So I'm just going to finish the the wall on this side. You see when I'm actually placing it, um, there's that line down the bottom. Now if I do it there... If I put that there, I don't have that line. But the problem is I then have this area here. You can see it's a double pane of glass. So we will remove that. Try that again. Really the only way I can do that is like that. I might have to reduce the size of the, the glass. So I'm going to do right control. Allow me to walk this way. Yeah, I'm not really happy with that. Yeah, it's definitely not that. So. Really strange. Um, I'm still learning this thing, but um, yeah, you can see it's um, got that little gap there. Kind of not what I want in there. I will probably look at that um, offline. You know, as I might actually replace the um, the glass with something a little better. But uh, before we finish this episode, um, so we got a second level up here. This is a um, a building that I took from the Rising World um, forum, and I've gone to and modified it. Actually, being up here. Oh yeah, yeah. No, okay. There's some beds up here. There's a lot, lot you can actually do. It's actually quite nice. So, so just uh, um, basically uh, people create um, uh, houses for Rising World. They uh, put the plans on the internet and people can actually download and make changes and so on. Um, I've, I've actually changed this uh, quite a lot. Um, the the roof looks completely different to the original. Um, so by the time I'm finished, this is going to be this is going to look completely different. Anyway, I am going to there. Is that a horse? This morning I had a horse. Yeah, the game has gone a long way. Don't see any horses. Maybe I was imagining that. The game has gone gone a long way in the four years that the developers have been working on this new version. Definitely nothing around here. That's really strange. Anyway, I will probably finish the uh, episode here. We um. Just going to do a 10 minute just to quickly talk about um, the fact that uh, I am working on the Rising World second um, server and I am also about to start working on the translations of um, Rising World into 
Uh, I think it's tempting different languages at the moment, but I'm looking at doing 34 um, with the new version of the game that came out two weeks ago. There's a lot that needs to be changed with the translations. I'm still looking at the best way of doing it. Anyway, I am going to finish the episode here. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And I will be back for the next episode uh, probably tomorrow. Thanks for watching. See you then. Bye-bye.